So here's some interesting properties of vacuum tube diodes. So what I have here is a 1-2 AV6, very common tube from uh, all American 5 radios. And this tube has uh, two diodes and a triode in it. And you know, in, in this, and I have this hooked up to a power supply over here, a heater power supply. So just the heater is on and you can maybe just see it glowing in there. I'm not, actually I'm not sure. Uh, maybe you can see it. I'm not sure. Um, so it's it's good and hot. <laughs> uh, so what I wanted to know is, you know, what kind of diode is it compared to semiconductor diodes? Uh, does it show up as a diode in you know modern test equipment? So I'm going to try that right now. So I'll go to diode mode. Come on, where is that? So I'm going to connect pin two, and it, pin two is kind of the cathode, and pin five or six is the anode. So let's see. Is pin two? Pin five. Oops. Two point five volts. Pin six. Two point three volts. Um, What's also interesting is just between the cathode and the grid is a diode, 0.8 volts. It's kind of interesting. Oops, I'll try that again. Yeah, 0.8 volts. Uh, but what I also noticed is that, uh, you know, how what kind of flaws are in these diodes? And the flaws in vacuum tube diodes are very weird. So if I go to volts, and just measure the voltage. One point one volts. The thing is generating power. One point one volts in between the diode and the grid. I mean the cathode and the grid. Oh come on. One volt. Um and how much current? So this, these little cheap meters have a microamp scale, which is kind of awesome. So check it out. On the diodes, 45 microamps, 60 microamps. Now between the cathode and the grid, 300 microamps. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of neat. This, these things generate power. Well, you're putting a huge amount of heater power in, so it's not not surprising that uh, you know some of the electrons that boil off of the cathode hit the grid or hit the hit the plate of the diodes, and uh, just generate electricity. Um, it's kind of neat to see it on the analog meter. The old analog meter here. See if I can do this. You get the most really between the uh, the grid and the cathode because I think the grid is so close. Yeah, check it out. There you go. Power out of a vacuum tube. I wonder how many vacuum tubes you need to light a lead. I have to try that sometime.